welcome to Le Venema. This week's cinematic extravaganza, Suffragette, starring Carrie Katona, Mulligan, and the female clone of Tim Burton, Helena the Abomination Carter, after what she did to Sirius Black in the fifth Harry Potter film. We meet Mondays and Thursdays if you're interested. You a suffragette, Mrs. Early? I consider myself more of a soldier. As Mrs. Pankhurst says, it's deeds, not words, that will get us the vote. They star as two of the suffragette movement, women desperate to gain the vote in pre-World War I London. Or are they? In fact, the suffragette movement is actually the women who protested in the 1990s against Concord. The film makes use of this imagery, and several metaphors are scattered throughout. The most obvious being the use of the phrase suffragette, which is actually a slogan from that movement. We will not suffer jets anymore! Vote for women! Fight for women! Vote for women! If you would like to learn more about the subject, I have many published works on it. In fact, in the film itself, many bookshops can be seen and stones thrown through their windows. But if you look closely, you can see one of my published works, Concord. Can you not, bro? You might lose your life before this is over. I'm getting older too. We will win. No, I don't have a girl. Oh, no, Joe, oh, your brother Rob's got a girl. Why can't you have a girl? Uh, we'll, ex we'll talk about that I mean, that she's ugly, but she'll do. Brother Rob got ugly, girl. That's horrible. I want grandchildren. This is Suffragette, Mum. It's the film Suffragette. Why are you in that? No, but they don't have equal rights. They don't have the same equal what rights. What do you mean? You don't have equal rights as men yet. What? Shit! Overall, Flipside gives Suffragette a rating of Pinot Grigio with an occasional hint of After Eight. Next week on Le Vinima, Crimson Peak. Nothing to do with periods. <laughs>